Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, we will be showing users how to register their companies and request for allocations under the Tariff Rate Quota Certificate QRQC, for Apple products under the Indo-Sri Lanka Free Trade Agreement the ISFTA. You may be a company who has already registered with the Apple Quota System under ISFTA and has a Department of Commerce issued QRQC registration number. You could also be a company who is new to the quota allocation system and wish to register for the Apparel quota under ISFTA. Now, this video is intended for both these types of users since a one-time quota registration is required to onboard your company with the Electronic Certificate of Origin system. Now, to start things off, let's go ahead and log into the system. Now, once I am inside the dashboard, click on the ISFTA Apparel Quota tile. This will direct me to the quota registration page. If you are a company who has already registered with the ISFTA Apparel Quota, your Department of Commerce issued QRQC number will be displayed on top. However, if you are a brand new company to the Apparel Quota system, it will say that your QRQC number is pending. If your quota registration is approved by the Department of Commerce, you will be assigned a TYQC registration number. And now to complete the registration process, you are required to provide the details of the contact person who is responsible for handling the TYQC process. I will continue this demonstration as a brand new company and proceed to add the full name and designation of this contact person. Once that is done, I will select the person's nationality, choose the identification document as NIC from a choice between NIC, passport and driver's license. And now I will enter the NIC number, email address, mobile number as well as the landline number. Since I selected NIC as my identification document, NIC front and back images will be uploaded. Once the application is completed, I will hit submit. This will send this registration application for the review of the Department of Commerce. You will receive an email which looks like this confirming your registration application submission. And now I will go ahead and skip ahead in time to demonstrate what a Department of Commerce Revival of the quota registration will look like. If your registration has been rejected, you will receive an email such as this. Within the email, you will be able to identify the reason for your application rejection, which in this case seems to be the uploading of an incorrect document as the NIC front. If you receive an email such as this, proceed to the dashboard, click on the ISFTA Apparel Quota tile and resubmit your registration application with the corrected details. However, if your application has been approved, you will receive an email such as this confirming your registration approval. If you are a new company with Apparel Quota, your Department of Commerce assigned TYQC registration number can be viewed here. This concludes the registration process with ISFT April Quota. I will now showcase how to perform quota allocation. Quota allocation under April ISFTA happens on a biannual basis each December and June. At the beginning of the quota allocation period, you will receive an email such as this, informing you of the beginning of the quota allocation period, along with the final date for submitting an allocation application. Since there is a limited time window to apply for quota allocation, please ensure to do so as soon as possible. Quota allocation can only be done once you have successfully completed your quota registration. Now to start with your quota allocation application, navigate to your dashboard and click on the same tile that you click to register for quota, which is the ISFTA April Quota tile. If you have successfully completed your registration following the steps I demonstrated in this video before, Clicking on this tile will now direct you to the Quota Allocation Application page. Proceed to submit the necessary details. There is a link provided on top which directs you to a table listing all the categories and their associated products. 
Refer to this if you require detailed information on which categories you wish to apply for TUR QC certificates with once your biannual quota amount has been allocated. Now moving back to the quota allocation page, I will enter a few categories as a comma separated list of what I am hoping to apply for TUR QC certificates under. And then I will enter the quantity allocated on the previous allocation request as well as the quantity utilized from the previous allocation cycle. Then I will enter the quantity I am requesting to be allocated for this allocation cycle along with the average price in US dollars. After which I will enter my factory name, address, number of sewing machines and the number of employees. And now I must upload a PDF containing the EPF slash EPF documents for the immediate past three months. Once that is completed, I will click on submit to finalize this application. I will now receive an email such as this, confirming my quota allocation application. I will now skip ahead in time to showcase what the reviewable of the Department of Commerce will look like for quota allocation. If your quota allocation has been rejected, you will receive an email such as this, highlighting the reason for your application rejection. In this particular case, it seems I have uploaded the incorrect EPF slash ETF documents. I can resubmit an allocation application from the dashboard to the ISFTA April quota type with the corrected information following the same steps as before, as long as it is done before the quota allocation application deadline. So if your application is rejected, please ensure to reapply before the allocation deadline passes. If your allocation request has gotten approved, you will receive an approval email which looks like this. Now this concludes your allocation request process. The Department of Commerce, once the allocation deadline has ended, will begin their quota calculations. And after a certain period of time has passed, you will receive an email confirming the quota amount that got allocated to you for this particular cycle. As you can see within this email, I have been allocated 100,000 pieces by the Department of Commerce for the quota cycle from December to June. You may utilize this quota for shipment request to generate RQC certificates, which will be explained in detail in the next video. This concludes the registration and allocation process for the tariff rate quota certificate for apparel products under the Indo-Sri Lanka Free Trade Agreement. Thank you for watching.